Hello and welcome to another video on histograms and in this video we're going to be looking at interpreting histograms using what we know about frequency density. So before we get stuck in let's just write down our equation or our formula for frequency density and hopefully you remember this from previous videos. So to calculate the frequency density we take the frequency, total frequency and we divide that by the class interval Divide that by the class interval and you will need to know this formula and it's really important to understand that so that we can easily rearrange this so we can calculate the frequency or the class interval if the question asks for it so here it says the histogram shows information about the speeds in miles per hour that cars traveled through a village and the speed limit is 60 miles per hour so speed limit 60 miles per hour how many cars were under the speed limit so we want to know how many cars there were under the speed limit of 60 miles per hour. Now, in order to do that, we just need to think about our equation for frequency density. We want to calculate how many cars. OK, so how many cars? That would be the frequency. So let's just rearrange this formula. Therefore, the frequency to calculate the frequency of something, we take the frequency density. Frequency density and we multiply by the class interval. Okay, all I've done is I've just rearranged this, this formula to make the frequency the subject. Now, the frequency density, well, that is just the height of the bar, and the class interval, well, that is just the width of the bar. So hopefully you know that whenever we times the height by the width, that just gives us the area of our shape. Yeah, the area of a rectangle is just base times height and in this case our base is the class interval and our height is the frequency density so let's calculate the areas of each of these bars and that will give us the frequency so here our base is 30 and our height is 5 so 30 times 5 is 150 so there are 150 cars that were traveling between 0 and 30 miles per hour here we've got 10 as our base and our height is 6.6, that's 6.0, 6.2, 6.4, 6.6. .6. .6. So 6.6 .6 times 10 is 66. The base here is 20 and the height is 3.6. So 3.6 times 20, that gives us 72. And finally, well, we don't even need to calculate this last one because we're all we're interested in the cars that were under the speed limit. So we just need to add up all of these numbers. So 150 plus 66 plus 72. 6 plus 2 gives us 8. 6 plus 7 is 13. Plus 5 is 18. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So there were 288 cars under the speed limit. Okay, and how I did that, so I just calculated the total frequency by calculating the area of each bar and then adding them together. Okay, let's do another question. So let me scroll down. This one's slightly more complicated. So the histogram shows the speeds in miles per hour of 82 cars on a road. 14 of the cars were traveling over 50 miles an hour. So that's 50 miles an hour. And 14 of them were traveling over, so this side. Calculate an estimate for the number of the cars that were traveling between 42 and 49 miles per hour. Okay, well, first of all, we're told that 14 cars were traveling over 50, 50 miles per hour. So this area, this area here must equal 14 because we know that the area is just the frequency. So that area equals 14. So how can we calculate the area of each bar? Well, what we could do is we could break these rectangles up into smaller squares, which should help us. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares, and they're all identical. So seven squares, and we know that those seven squares must add up to 14. Okay, so if seven squares equals 14, one square, we can easily see that one square must equal two cars. So for every one square is two cars. So we've got one, two, three, four, five squares in this category. So five times two is 10. So there's 10 cars traveling between 50 and 55 miles per hour. We've got two squares here, two times two gives us four. So that category is four. If we look at this category here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares. Seven times two is 
14. And then this one here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares. Nine times two is 18. And we don't really need to worry about these ones here because all we're interested in is the cars traveling between 42 and 49, 42. Let's, let's mark this off. So 42 is there and 49 is there. Okay, so we don't really need to concern ourselves with these categories. Okay, so how the, we know that there are 18 cars between 40 and 45 what we're going to what i'm going to work out is the number of cars between 42 and 45 now when we do this we need to be careful because this will only be an estimate okay the 18 cars that are traveling between 40 and 45 we don't know exactly what speed they're traveling all 18 of them could be traveling at 41 miles per hour we don't know that so to get a, the most reasonable estimate, we could say that they're evenly distributed between 40 and 45. OK, that will give us our best estimate. So what we can do is if I get my line tool out, if I draw a line and I'll make that line a bit thinner so you can see it much more clearly. OK, so that line is at 42 miles per hour. So if I calculate the area of the bar to the left of that line so this area here that will give me an, a reasonable estimate for the cars traveling between 42 and 45 miles per hour and hopefully you can see it might spot out to you that this area is just three-fifths of the whole of the whole of the area of the whole rectangle and the reason i know that is because the width is three-fifths this from here to here is three squares and in total we've got 10 squares so this represents three-fifths of the way along and obviously the height is the same so this area is three-fifths of the total area so this area is three-fifths times the total area we know the total area is 18 so we just do three-fifths times 18 and i'll get my calculator for that so 18 times three-fifths that gives us 10.8 Okay, and that you might be thinking, well, we can't have 10.8 cars, and obviously you're right, but uh, this is only an estimate, so when we get our final answer, we can always round it either up or down. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another line, but this time I'm going to draw it at 49 miles per hour because that is our upper limit. So that's our, oh, that's not very clear, I'll do that again, try and be as accurate as possible. Okay, so 49 miles per hour. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade in this area here. We want to work out that area. And again, this is only an estimate. Now, the blue area, we can see that this is four squares along out of five. So it's four fifths of the total area. So the blue area is going to be four fifths of 14, which gives us, so let's do that, four fifths times 14 that gives us 11.2 okay so we've worked out the blue, uh, the magenta area plus the blue area so if, so if we add them together 10.8 plus 11.2 8 plus 2 is 10 carry the 1 0 plus 1 is 1 plus 1 is 2 then 1 plus 1 is 2 so it's 22 and it's worked out quite nicely because it's a, a whole number so 22 cars and again i'm going to do an approximate sign so that's approximately 22 cars. We don't know for sure, but that is our best estimate. 